Oil pumps are typically gear type pumps, vein type pumps, or gyrotor type uh, pumps. They have a positive displacement that and deliver a known flow proportional to the pump speed. In most cases, I would suggest that the gear type pump is used in gas turbine engines. So this is a, a gear type pump. So when the engine is at rest, uh, there's no oil in the in the lines. Or we'll assume there's no oil in the lines. And then once it begins to start up, as the pumps begin to turn, they will draw oil and oil comes into the pump and goes around the outside of the pump. And so it goes around the outside of the pump and then on to the systems. So the gear type pump is often used in gas turbine engines, both on the pressure and on the scavenge systems. And just to note, the oil is uh, around the teeth. When the oil comes out of the pump, it uh, goes to a filter, normally a pleated type filter. So oil comes into the, the filter bowl, and then it passes from the outside of the bowl through the pleated filter and then on out to the uh, oil system. So it comes from the outside through the filter and then on out through the, the oil system. Now if there was a buildup of dirt in uh, the filter, the oil wouldn't pass uh, through as, 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 as well as it was and we would get a pressure differential between the output of the filter and the input of the filter. And that pressure differential is enough to overcome the tension in this spring here that's ho holding this ball onto the seat. So if this pressure builds up, this ball then will be pushed in that direction. So when that happens, the oil now will take the path of least resistance. So the oil will go uh, around the filter, it will bypass the filter, and on to the rest of the systems. So we now have dirty oil going to the, to the engine. However, it's better to have the dirty oil than no oil at all going through the system. So there's normally a pressure sensor across this uh, bypass valve as well. And when uh, the pressure is high enough to unseat the valve, the sensor uh, will send a signal to the cockpit and that will illuminate the filter bypass uh, enunciator in the cockpit pilot then have to make a decision and, and most probably it will be to land as expediently as it can. Okay, the oil pressure then needs to be stabilized so as, as the oil comes from the pump the pressure is building up but we don't want the pressure to get too too large. If the pressure gets too large the pressure differential between here and here will be, will be large, and that will be enough to unseat the ball here from this valve. It will push the valve down, and oil will be able to flow back into the, to the sump. So it will be something like that. The oil um, passes back to the engine <coughs> sump, back to the engine sump, and we get a reduction in pressure. Uh, in all cases, in the oil system, there is uh, a meter in the cockpit. So the oil pressure is monitored continuously. And if we have an oil pressure problem, um, we will get a an red enunciation light in the in the uh, in the cockpit. Okay, so that's um, gear type pumps.